Hey everyone, this is Carson and Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Today we are looking at the wintertime destination for you guys. This property here, we are just 20 minutes away from the Sugarloaf Ski Resort and around 40 minutes away from Saddleback Mountain Ski Resort. This, this is it. I mean, in addition to that, for wintertime activities, we are just an hour away from Mount Blue State Park. That is the largest state park in the state, encompassing around 8,000 acres that offers four seasons of activities that they also have skiing, snowmobiling, and snowshoeing. So for wintertime activities, this is it. Yeah, and certainly if, you're, if you've been looking for a place to build with mountain views, this has panoramic views of Mount Abram, Sugarloaf. It is just spectacular mountain views, the Carabasset Valley. You're looking out across the valley here. It is gorgeous. And then you have the Carabasset River. Uh, so, you know, wintertime definitely is this going to be the destination. But summertime, you still have a lot of places to canoe and kayak and hiking on the Appalachian Trail, all kinds of different mountains to hike over here. So just a, just a beautiful spot. So build your vacation home here would be super location for that. So you're probably wondering where we are. We are in the town of New Portland in Somerset County. And the population here, roughly right around 800 people. There is a significant historic landmark here. Carson, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's a wire cable bridge um, that was built around 1846. And they say that it's one of the last surviving in the US. And it's very unique to look at because it's, you have the cables, which is something you'd see in like a modern, you know, bridge, a lot of modern bridges, but yet, mm -hmm instead of cables and concrete it's cables and, and wood, and wood. It's, it's a beautiful structure it is and it's really surprising that it's still around yeah so you have two that. towers on either end the span there is about 198 feet the bridge they started construction in 1864 completed it in 1866 the main legislature back in 1959 i think they enacted some legislation to preserve the bridge so there was a big project underway back then to restore it and so there's still some original parts to that bridge today. Yeah. So we've just come onto the lot here and there is a survey pin. You can see some flagging here, survey pin there. There is the beginning of a small little driveway. They've graveled in an area here. Obviously you'd need to extend that into your, your building site, but we're gonna head up to the far end of the road frontage and see if we can find the other pin. So I followed the first pin, walked up the road from the first pin we found, and the road stops, I continued on in the woods, and I found this post blazing on the tree, and then we've got flagging here, and that just continues on. Down through the woods, we'll kind of walk down through here, and it is predominantly a hardwood forest, mostly beech trees, you got some big, beech tree every once in a while you'll see a, a scattered hemlock mixed in in between the, the hardwoods but it wouldn't take much to just thin out a little bit of this under small undergrowth those are probably an inch in diameter thin some of those out you can see the yellow blaze on the tree with the boundary on this side be the i believe the western line as well Really well marked, but beautiful hardwood lot. When you clear some of these trees, then you're going to pick up the view that we were talking about. So as you're building your, your cabin or your summer home or a seasonal vacation, you just plan out what trees you want to remove to pick up that gorgeous view. I'm going to continue down and see if we can hit the back line anyway. I can hear some water running and I'm seeing here, it looks like a spring. But I can hear the water, at least that's what I think is water running. And see if we can, you know, I got some deer that have walked through here. Let's see if I can find that. Just continue walking through here. I can see, looks like a brook area. 
see a depression in the ground up here. Let's see what we got. So I'm probably halfway to two thirds way towards the back of the lot and I found this mountain brook flowing down across the property. Very peaceful spot. Get a good look there. Nice little brook flowing down through. And yeah, you can see the hardwood, the mature hardwood forest in here. Got some ash, some beach. Just a really healthy looking forest. All right, we're gonna circle around, work our way towards the back. Crossing the mountain brook, I've made my way to the back. Found this wooden post and an iron pin next to it. So we are going to continue through the woods here, give you guys a better look at the property. Following the back line, I'm, this mountain brook has just kind of has worked its way back towards the back of the property. But I'm finding survey blazes most of the way across the back, and we should be getting close to that boundary pin. And matter of fact, I see it right up here ahead of us, right there. So you can see some of these old, well, this is pretty faded, but there's some old red paint right in there. And you followed that along and come to the survey pin here. So we'll turn and we'll work our way back out to the road. So I'm kind of in the northwest center of the lot and I've crossed, working my way back to the road and I've crossed this, this mountain brook again. So there was one right near the back boundary and then you got this one that's running up the hill. And you can see the elevation changes pretty pretty quickly here. So you'll be able to take advantage of the of all the mountain views out there. Let's continue on. I am basically dead center of the lot now. And there's some massive oak trees in here. Beautiful trees. They're towering up. They've got to be 60 feet tall. Nice crown to them. All right, let's work our way back to the road. I'm about 100 feet off the road now, and what is so impressive in Somerset County, these are two massive oak trees right here, but right there, center of the screen now, is a beech tree that I can barely get my arms around, and it's super tall, and I have another one to the left of these two oaks right here. Barely get my arms around that, and that's a good 50 feet tall. And what's interesting is in Penobscot County, our beach is not, uh, not real healthy, so it, the growth gets stunted. You might find one that's 20 feet tall and, and it's not that big at the butt. But really, um, some beautiful trees in here. Let's head up the road. Thank you for joining us today. Just to give a quick recap. So the price on this, it's, I think it's very reasonable for everything that you're getting here, both you know, property-wise and location-wise. The price on this is 129000 Once again, it's a 2.66 acre lot. Now, some of your distances here, we've already covered some, but we'll go over it again. So you were 20 minutes away from Sugarloaf. You were around 40 minutes away from Saddleback, um, 20, 30 minutes away from Mount Blue State Park. Uh, for those of you coming from Boston, you are three hours and 30 minutes away from Boston. For Portland, it's going to be your nearest airport. That is two hours away. Um, Farmington, you are within 30 minutes away from Farmington. And of course, the University of Maine uh, at Farmington. So you're in a hospital there. That'd be your closest in the hospital. Hospital, hospital as so, well. And it's your closest bigger town for shopping. If you need quick shopping, there's Kingfield, which is 11 minutes away that has a small grocery store. Yeah, certainly Farmington would be your major, your Walmarts and all those other things. Yep. Some nice cafes there and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, it's got a nice downtown as well. But So we got electricity here to the building site. Uh, it's the last lot in on the road, so it's very private. So thanks again for joining us. This has been Peter and Carson McPhail with Lifestyle Properties Maine. We look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.